Hi again everyone, it's me Keith. Welcome to another Google Sheet tutorial. This time we're going to deal with Pivot Table. Since we're done with custom lookup or VLOOKUP in Google Sheets, this time we're going to step up a notch okay, on the new learning that we're going to deal with. To start with, I'm going to visit sheets.google.com or opensheets.google.com. Then I'm just going to choose blank. Up next is I'm going to click on file. Then choose open. This time guys, I'm going to, is, I'm going to import or upload a file from my PC. So I'm just going to click on upload, click on select a file from your device. So I have a couple of files here, so I'm just going to choose this one. Okay, so since I have a couple of sheets in here, so what I'm going to use is this one. It's named Pivot Table. Now the main purpose of this exercise, guys, or the main purpose of this activity is for us to learn on how we are going to manipulate fields. For us to learn on how we are going to sort out fields and filter fields without affecting the original table okay so first is be sure that you already have your data with you it's better if you have at least 15 data for your google sheets otherwise you will not see the effect or the usefulness of this particular activity that we're going to do right now so first is i'm going to highlight from this area going down to the last part of the table so from the first part up to the last part, then afterwards, once it is already highlighted, we're going to click on insert, then choose pivot table. Just leave it like that. So just use the option new sheet for this one, then click on create. Once you have created a new sheet, the previous sheet is just in here. So if you want to go back. Now what we're going to notice on the new sheet is we have this panel right here, a new panel. It's called Pivot Table Editor. Now, the main purpose of Pivot Table Editor is we can customize how we are going to view our Google Sheet form, okay? So first is we are going to follow the instructions that I have provided in here. So I'm just going to scroll this one down. Then later on, guys, I'm going to explain to you why we are doing this. So first is we are going to drag category to the filter field. Now we have a couple of items here. So I'm just going to drag category going down to the filter field. Then afterwards is I'm going to drag delivery date to the columns field. Delivery date going to the columns field just underneath it. Then go back to the preview sheet. Then supplier and product to the rows field. Okay, so this is the supplier. Drag it to the rows field. Same thing with product underneath supplier. There. Now up next is we are going to drag sum of price to the values field. Now since we are not seeing the sum of price in here, so we are going to assume price is the one that is being stated on the instruction. So I'm just going to drag, drag the price going to the values field there okay so this is how it's going to look like now it's quite different from the previous t table so as you can see in here the good thing with pivot table is you can customize which data you wish to show or which data you wish to view okay and the good thing with this one guys is it will not affect the original file okay so for example if I wish to see only the deliveries of storage devices all I need to do is just to clear on the selection then check on storage device then click OK now only storage device deliveries will be seen on our table or on our sheet so again I'm going to choose office equipment and uncheck on storage device only office equipment deliveries will be seen on our sheet okay now let's say if I wish to sort out or filter out the suppliers so the first thing that i need to do is i'm just going to remove or close the category from the filters field so close it then i'm going to choose supplier and drag it underneath filters field now let's say if i wish to see only 
the deliveries from Electroworld. So all I need to do is just to uncheck Abinson and Office Warehouse and remain Electroworld. Click OK, then there you go. So all the deliveries from that particular supplier will be shown on our sheet. So that is the main purpose of Pivot Table. So if you have questions, please feel free to comment down below and subscribe for more tutorials. Bye for now.